Texana was founded in 1832 by Dr. Francis F. Wells and his sister-in-law, Pamela McNutt Porter, in what is now the central part of Jackson County. The town was originally named Santa Ana after Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana, who was a popular Mexican liberal soldier and politician. In 1835, Antonio Santa Ana had proven himself an enemy of Republican government and the residents changed the name of the town to Texana. During the Texas Revolution of 1835 to 36, the town served as a port of entry and training camp for many of the volunteers that came from various parts of the U.S. Texana was the original county seat of Jackson County, incorporating as a municipality in 1840. According to the TSHA, on January 2, 1850, a school called Texana Academy, also called Texana College, was chartered. It did not teach full-range courses, so many students were forced to transfer to other schools to finish their education. It didn't have any religious restrictions, nor was it affiliated with any religious group, which is unlike most of the schools during that time period. I'm assuming that it disappeared with the town when it was deserted. By 1880, the town had acquired a regular steamboat service along with mail and stage routes. There was a booming business section and they even had their own newspaper called the Clarion. In 1882, Texana was a thriving port town and had as many as 20 ships docking a week. In 1883, there's an inquiry from the investors of the New York, Texas, and Mexican Railroad if they wanted to have the railroad run through their town. Very little information can be found about this section, but according to the museum dedicated to Texana, they told me that the people of Texana actually did not want the railroad going through their town. So because of this decision, the railroad ended up bypassing Texana and created the town of Edna. The railroad in Edna, which is only about 10 minutes away, essentially killed Texana, and many people and businesses moved from Texana to the new town of Edna. In 1884, Texana became a ghost town. By 1968, Congress approved the formation of a lake using the area of Old Texana. The lake was formed by Palmetto Bend Dam, or it's also called the Palmetto Bend Dam Project, and it was completed in 1979. The old town site was turned into the Lake Dam Combo, now operated by the Lavaca Navidad River Authority in Jackson County. Supposedly, the formation of the lake took away a few driving routes to other parts of the county, like the small town of Vanderbilt, though I'm unsure how true that is. Granted, I don't think I could prove or disprove that anecdote. The lake houses all sorts of wildlife such as gar, catfish, crabs, and more than that. By the lake is a small cemetery from the 1800s called Sanford Cemetery. It's gated off to the public by Ellen R. Ray. Ellen R. Ray is also in charge of the outdoor complex Rackenridge Park, where people can camp, attend events, and even get married. At the park, there is the old church from Texana, which people can rent out. The park also has the family cemetery belonging to the Brackenridge family, which is rather hidden in the woods of the park. The area was first selected by John Adams Brackenridge when his daughter, Elizabeth Ann, died on July 16, 1856, at the age of eight. 